Hi, I'm Andre and I'm a black nerd. But some of you don't think that I'm a nerd because Andre, you didn't read as many comic books as I did. Well, that's not true. It's just I didn't read the comic books that you were thinking of, the Marvels and the DCs and the Dark Horses. No, I was reading Ninja Turtles and Smurfs and Archie and comic books that are based on the cartoon shows I used to watch. Did you know there was a Ren and Stimpy and Animaniacs and a Pinky and the Brain comic book? I'm a dork. So I thought it would be fun to show some of the comic books that I have. And these are very special edition comic books. Some of these are hardcover. If you like this video, let me know because I have even more that I could show. I'm only gonna show a few right now and then I'm gonna tell you about a cool website where I put a lot of these up that you can share too. And you might even be able to win a prize at the end of this. I didn't say that, but just keep watching the video and you'll see what I'm talking about. So as a lot of you know, I grew up on Archie Comics. Archie was the comic book that I found in my grocery store because I couldn't just walk around and go to a comic book shop as easily as you can today. Thank you, Archie. Thank you, Betty and Veronica. Jughead with all your burgers. Archie has been doing a lot of crazy stuff lately. They've been completely reimagined. They're getting that TV show Riverdale. And one of the big things that they did recently that I thought was insane, but I loved it, was they teamed up with Predator. Archie put out this awesome hardcover edition of Archie vs. Predator. It's all four issues of the series in one nice, well done, hardcover book. I bought this from a comic book store. It's the entire Archie Predator saga. If you have not seen this, you have to see this. It's absolutely amazing. It's classic Archie drawings, but with Predator attacking. It's nasty, man. Another crazy crossover that I love. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ghostbusters. This is one of my favorite crossovers that has happened recently. And I've read through all of it. I read it all on a plane. Uh, but it was really, really good. All the original Ghostbusters are there, as you can see on the cover. They also have Janine in this. They also have Kylie from Extreme Ghostbusters. And it's just a really cool story. I mean, look at that. You got Michelangelo wearing a proton pack. That's crazy. That's a movie I want to see. Ninja Turtles and Ghostbusters, man. That's awesome. Heroes in a Half Shell, Ghostbusters. So I got the Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters. Of course, I've got a bunch of the Ninja Turtle IDW comics that I've been reading. So when the 1990 movie came out, they actually made a comic book version of the 1990 movie. Well, IDW got that and reprinted it, and I found this at a comic book shop in New York when I went up to New York Comic Con. This is the special edition Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990 movie comic book. So yeah, this is the actual Ninja Turtles 1990 movie printed out as a Mirage comic. So it's got the whole storyline from the movie. It's got the turtles, it's got April, it's got Danny. <laughs> it's got the whole movie made into a comic book. So Darkwing Duck was recently announced to be rebooted as a comic book, but they actually had a comic book not too long ago, Darkwing Duck the Definitive Dangerous Edition. This is pretty much the entire collection of the original run of Darkwing Duck comics that continued the storyline of Darkwing Duck. I have not read through all of this, but I definitely want to read everything in this from cover to cover. I'm glad to be able to find this. I can't wait to just read through this whole thing and get my Darkwing Duck on. Let's get dangerous. So there was this company called Variant Comics and they actually made Nintendo comics. It was called the Nintendo Comics System. This is the best of the Nintendo Comics System. These are actual Nintendo comics. They have a whole story about Game Boy, which if you have not read it, it's pretty insane. Basically, Game Boy characters, including Mario, come out of the Game Boy and into the real world. You know, that old portal business. There's also Legend of Zelda comics. You can get some Adventures of Link going on there. And I love that the art style of Zelda in the comics is very similar to the art style that she was in the animated series. But Link is very much closer to the Zelda 2 Adventure of Link look. There's even Captain N, the Game Master comics in here. There's Metroid comics. There's even a Punch-Out comic. <laughs> These are really cool comics. I used to love the Nintendo comic system and I'm so glad I was able to find this best of collection. Now you're probably asking yourself, what about the Super Mario Brothers? Well, you know, can't leave them out. Best of the Super Mario Brothers, yep. I have a whole collection of only Super Mario Brothers comics. There's some really funny, cute comics in here. And I just love the covers. Whoever made the covers for these, 
did a really good job. It's a shame that uh, these comics are out of print now. I, I think these were cool comics. I would love for someone to do a full collection of all these as a like a mega book. Someone get a hold of these comics. Nintendo, it's a comic now. Nintendo, Nintendo comics, wow. So of course I couldn't forget my Smurfs. I have a lot of Smurf comics reprints of the original Belgian comics translated into English. So I have a lot of those. The Smurfs Anthology. So they're these hardcover books and they're some of the best Smurf stories translated into English, full color, blown up, and it just goes through some classic Smurf stories. They even have a little intro for each one of these by Matt Murray, Smurfologist. And it just kind of gives you a backstory of each of these stories and how they came to be when they were originally formed by Peo. Got three of them. I think there's already a fourth one that's out. These are the first three volumes. I have all of those. Again, something I bought. And look inside, I actually have a picture of Vanity Smurf signed by Alan Oppenheimer, who was the voice of Vanity Smurf. I met him at a comic convention and got this picture from him, signed. So, ew, I put that in my Smurf book. So see, peeps, I like comics. I just collect different comics than most. That's okay, right? That makes me more nerdy, doesn't it? <laughs> So as I was saying, I'm showing these collections off not only in this video, but also on a website called Jimmer. It's a place for collectors to show off their collections. You can take photos of them, you can put them in different groups, you can join specific clubs based on interests you like, like Marvel, DC, Ninja Turtles, Power Rangers, Amiibo. People can leave comments, you can follow people and check out their feed to see what they're putting up, and you can do it on the Jimmer website, or you can even download the Jimmer app. It's a place for collectors to show their collections so they can buy them, sell them, trade them, or just show them off to show everyone what they got. I have an account on there so make sure you follow my account. So of course Jimmer wants you to create an account and you can do so by using the link in the description below. It takes you right to where you can make your own account and if you do that you get an entry and then every single time that you post a picture on Jimmer through your account between now and July 15th that's another entry and two of you are going to win this that's right, you're going to win the classic Ninja Turtles complete series collection. As you can see, it's a turtle van and it opens up and it shows off all the discs of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series from the 80s, including a little guidebook that lets you know all the episodes that you can watch. Not only was Jimmer kind enough to sponsor my video, thank you Jimmer for that, but they are also going to buy two of these and give them away to two people who make their accounts and post their photos on Jimmer. Every picture you post between now and July 15th, that's an entry. Gotta be a picture of your collectibles though. No selfies or pictures of your family, friends, or pets. I'm talking about pictures of your stuff. I mean stuff like that you own, not your stuff, because you know, no one needs to see that on the internet. So make sure you make that account, use a link in the description below, post your photos, and after July 15th, two of you are gonna win the classic Ninja Turtles collection. So definitely follow me on Jimmer. I look forward to seeing what pictures you have in your accounts, and let me know in the comments what is the weirdest comic book that you own. And let me know if you wanna see more of my comic collection, because I got some other crazy comics that you would not believe I own. I love you like a play cousin. I'm Audi 5000, chain chomp, yelp.